Hey everyone, this is Leadbetter 17P. In today's tech video, we are going to take a look at the newest OS release from Microsoft called Microsoft Windows 8.1. Basically, as you see here, I am on desktop mode in Windows 8.1. Pretty much looks the same as regular Windows 8. The only difference that we can see right off is there is the new integration of a start button. Basically all this start button does is just brings you to your start panel, which is pretty basic. Uh, before you used to have to take your mouse and go down to the bottom corner and it would pop up and you could go there. Or you'd have to press the Windows key on your keyboard for it to show up. So they have made it a little more user friendly, which is real nice. You still have all the other basic features, like uh, when you go into, you can go up to the top right, you can see open windows. Or you can go to, or the top left, I mean, sorry. You can go to the top right over here, and it will bring up search, share. You can get to your start panel that way also. You go to devices or settings. If you go to settings, it will open up this menu, which you that's how you can get to your control panel your PC info that's how you change the brightness your sound notifications and also how you power off your computer or restart your windows alright so first of all we're gonna take a look at the start panel we'll go there as you can see looks the same as Windows 8 pretty self-explanatory uh, you got your live tiles you can find different live tiles, you can move them around, organize them however you want. Alright, another thing is on Windows 7 and Windows 8, you had a thing called My Computer, where you click on it and it would show you your C drive and whatever USB thumb drives you had plugged in and and stuff like that. That's it was really handy to have. Well, here they've renamed it to something else. It's called This PC. So if we click on that, basically it's going to open up the same thing, basically, and show you your C drive, you know, your portable drives, you know, everything you need to know. You have access to your downloads folder, your desktop. They've also integrated SkyDrive into Windows 8.1 for extra storage, online storage, which is really cool. All right, we'll close that. We'll go back to the start panel. Now you still have your apps or whatever that you can install. Like I, just messing around, I installed a word search and Mad Libs just to kind of mess around with the windows a little bit. You have your store right here, which you can go and buy different apps, or you can get the free ones. These two here, the Mad Libs and the word search, were free ones. Uh, you have your weather apps. There's a whole bunch of other ones that it installs or that show up here when you get done installing Windows 8.1. I unpinned them because I don't use them. All right, this little arrow here will bring you down to your apps. Now, under here is where you can get to other things, other features of your your Windows such as you know, your mail or music, news, PC settings or photos or uh, or you can get over here onto the right hand side and go and find your notepad or wordpad uh, sound recorder Microsoft paint uh, you get your narrators you know you got system uh, programs like control panel file explorers uh, and stuff s such as that now this comes with Windows Defender right with the windows basically this Windows Defender is pretty much the same exact thing as Microsoft Security Essentials. Uh, they beefed it up a little bit. It works pretty good. Um, if you don't want to use that, they do have other antiviruses that work with uh, Windows 8 and Windows 8.1, such as Avast. Uh, you have to have a full version. But as you can see, here is Windows Defender. Looks just like... Uh, security essentials so basically that's that 
And that's pretty much a tour of Windows 8.1 real quick, just a quick look at it. Uh, you can pretty much pin things to your taskbar, or you can pin them to your start panel. You can resize these. Like, we'll take the word search one. We can resize it. Uh, let's go small. Brings it into a tiny little square. Or we can go with a medium. Brings it to a bigger square. Or we can go with the wide, which is where I had it. Now, these are movable. You can move them around, which is real nice. Uh, that way you can organize them in any way you want. You can put all your games together, all your weather apps together, or whatever apps that you get. You can get financial apps, other games. You can get just fun stuff. So that's pretty much it. Uh, and it has desktop mode, which is real nice. That way you can put your icons on your desktop. So as always, if you like what you see, feel free to click the like button down below. Go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section, and I will do my best to get back to you if you have any questions or concerns. And feel free to subscribe and share with your friends. So as always, this is Ledbetter17P, and thanks for watching.